Okay, Nolan, Stephen, what's the headline from the speech? Nolan, start with you. You know, the mayor billed it as a chance to introduce uh, Detroit to the nation through this NFL draft that's coming up next week, that this would be a, a chance to show the nation how far Detroit has come over these last years of his his leadership. I think it was also, though, a chance to introduce Mike Duggan a, and his new ambitions to a bigger audience, to a Michigan audience. I think that speech was just just as the interview with, we did with him a couple of weeks ago was uh, sort of the opening salvos of this run for governor that he very clearly has planned. Stephen, I want to get to that and just sort of the political machinations that go into a speech like this, but what was the headline for you? Yeah, you know, I think it was a pretty standard, you know, the state of the city, county, nation uh, kind of speech. Uh, you take credit for the things you think you can take credit for. You promise a couple things to get people excited. I think the draft gave him a, a really wonderful peg uh, to start talking about the things that are different than they were 11 years ago. If you would have imagined us hosting uh, the draft 11 years ago, how different that would have been. Um, you know, I think he's got a lot to, to, to be proud of. Uh, I give him credit also for pointing out the things that we still need to, to, to work on, the things that are not finished. Uh, he talked a lot about neighborhoods, about housing, uh, about policing, crime. Uh, those things aren't solved, but he's making some progress and, and talking about how he's going to make more. Um, nothing, nothing terribly surprising here, uh, and I agree that it that it is kind of that opening salvo in, in his case to be made to the state that uh, he ought to he ought to get a bigger job in two years. And so, I mean, he focused so much right on neighborhoods, uh, neighborhood revitalization. Does that work though, in terms of if he's trying to take this message statewide or nationwide? Yeah, I, think I it, do think it, it does, Zoe, because, I mean, that's where the problems were, and that's mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, he can demonstrate uh, his ability to come up with solutions and, and execute them. I mean, Detroit was headed in a very bad direction for 60 years, and, you know, now we've gone through this, this decade or so of stabilization, more or less, but still not growing the way it needs to grow. And if it's going to grow, that, that's going to come from the from the neighborhoods. That's where you're going to see uh, a population of people, families come back. Uh, you get the neighborhoods right and everything else sort of falls into place. Well, that's really what his critics, I mean, for years and years have said, right? That it's focused too much on downtown or pro-business, right? And leaving out the rest of the city. Yeah. So, I mean, he had some real direct answers for that during the speech. I mean, he said, look, if you look at the overall investment outside of downtown Detroit, uh, it totals about four billion dollars. That's not that's not a little bit. Um, uh, you know, the problem is that we have probably 20 billion dollars worth of problems uh, in our neighborhoods. Um, and, you know, as somebody who's working in the neighborhood where I was born to try to turn things around and make them better, I can I can attest it is really hard work. There are so many layered problems that have existed for such a long time uh, that, that even even the largest investment or gesture takes some time to 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 make a difference and uh, things move slowly. Uh, that's not an excuse. Uh, he's the mayor of the city. He's accountable for all of the things that happen. Um, but, you know, I think he did a good job explaining why things aren't fixed in the neighborhoods, but that they are better. I also think that that's a, 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 a huge part of his sell to the state. And even from a cynical standpoint, most people in the state still have a really negative view of Detroit, especially historically. Uh, they have a really negative view of Detroiters historically as somehow having ruined uh, the city's largest, uh, uh, the state's largest city. Um, part of his sell uh, cynically is, hey, look, I came in here and I straightened this out. Uh, this was a mess and, and I fixed it and I do the same for, for Michigan. So I don't think, uh, you know, um, I don't think it's a bad thing for him to focus on the ways in which he's done that. I'm not saying he's doing that cynically, but I do think 
uh, there is a cynical sell to be made around that. And so, he, you know, part of his message, or, or the big part of his message uh, to a broader electorate, to a broader audience, is his ability to put put coalitions together, to bring people together um, from divergent places and, and different philosophies to work together to solve problems. And, you know, I just came from a moderating a session with John Ricolta, who headed the Michigan uh, or the Growing Michigan uh, Commission, the Governor's Commission. Mm -hmm. and he, he very much talked about Michigan's inability to work together, uh, to bring groups together as being uh, the, the major impediment to the state's growth. And so I think Duggan sees an opportunity there to tout his ability to you know, work across lines. And I think that's gonna be his message uh, to Michigan voters over the next couple of years. Yeah, I mean, so, so the fact that he announced that they're naming this uh, rec center, this community center uh, over on the West side after Helen Moore, who yeah. uh, is one of the harshest critics of every public official in the city and has been for 30 or 40 years, I've never seen her kind of hold hands with a public official and be like, hey, yeah, this is great. Things are going in the right direction. He got her to do that by naming that center after. I mean, that's a masterful stroke politically. We'll see what the next speech is from this uh, mayor, whether they're about Detroit or or this, the state as a whole <laughs> in terms of a, a possible run for governor, as Nolan was talking about. Thanks, guys. Watch One Detroit. Thursday at 7.30 p.m. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.